This is an X-ray in the ICU setting of a 45-year-old female who has presented with high-grade fever. Again, a few seconds off to have a look at the X-ray and try to establish our findings and what our diagnosis could be. So as we can see on this X-ray, we can see multiple patchy airspace consolidation seen in both mid zones. We can also see cavitations seen in the right mid and lower zone. What is also of interest to us is not just the lungs. So if we look closely at the dorsal spine, we can actually see a compressed or collapsed vertebral body in the mid dorsal level. So this is an unusual finding that we see on, on the chest X-ray. We would be easily saying this is uh, infective lesions with uh, breakdown areas, but with the collapsed vertebra, our diagnosis moves towards perhaps uh, something beyond uh, an infective process. So may likely we're looking at uh, a tuberculous etiology. So we run a CT on this patient and we can see multiple fibronodular lesions scattered across both lung fields. It has, uh, this CT scan has almost a plethora of findings with uh, airspace consolidations and large cavitatory lesions seen on the right side, areas of breakdown. But uh, our concern was also to see the spine. And if you look at the spine carefully on the mediastinal windows, we can see a collapsed vertebral body with bone destruction. We can also see uh, fairly large paravertebral abscesses on either side of uh, the spine at this level. If uh, we look at other findings of the lungs and correlate that with uh, those of the spine, our diagnosis is fairly simple. This is a case of pulmonary tuberculosis with actually cox spine. So we just uh, change the window and take a sag view and we can see a nice collapse vertebra here in the mid dorsal level. It's almost like a gibbous the patient had on clinical examination. So concluding, this is a case of uh, pulmonary tuberculosis with Cox spine. A couple of points to note uh, regarding uh, tuberculosis of the spine is that uh, usually it involves two adjacent vertebral bodies and involves the adjacent disc as well in between. It can cause a focal kyphosis or gubbis, most likely in the dorsal or the upper lumbar spine. The spread of the infection is subligamentous below the anterior longitudinal ligament. Very often we see epidural component which can actually cause a thecal sac compression or even cord compression. And not very infrequently, of course, we can see paravertebral abscesses. So in summary, uh, anytime you see a chest x-ray with the large consolidations and breakdown, you have to look for other signs of tuberculosis. It could be in the form of a pleural effusion or uh, some rib destruction with a soft tissue lesion alongside it. And uh, not uncommonly, you can actually catch spinal tuberculosis uh, as we did on this x-ray in the form of a collapsed vertebral body.